Hi, this is Rob from ASUS, and I'm here with the ASUS eSlate EP121, the most powerful tablet in the world. This is powered by the Intel Core i5 processor running Windows 7 Home Premium. So last video we did a quick unboxing of the eSlate, and today I'm going to show you a few cool features that it can do. So let's dive in. So let's have a quick look at how video plays on the eSlate. So I'm actually first going to show you just a uh, Windows Media Player file. This is about a 300 megabyte video. It's only about a minute long, so it's very high quality. And you can see it has absolutely no problem playing it. I can skip ahead very easily. There's a volume control up on the top here. But I think what most people are interested in is actually YouTube. So let's look at a 1080p video streaming on YouTube. And I've got the Avatar trailer loaded up here. So I'll just press play on this. And let's go full screen. I'd like to talk to you about a fresh start. As you can see, there's absolutely no problem streaming this in HD. Next, let's look at some of the drawing functions on the tablet. And I'm just going to load up the Outrage Studio, which is actually a pre-installed software. And for this, I'm going to grab the Wacom Digitizer. So let's just try playing with this. I'm going to grab the color red. And it'll be the paintbrush. As you can see, it's very fluid, it's very responsive. This would be great for um, graphic artist or uh, designer, that kind of thing. They'd have a lot of fun with this, I imagine. And let's just maybe write a quick message on this. So as you can see, it's, it's kind of a fun experience and you can probably do a lot more with this if you had some artistic talent, more than I do. Now, supposing you're on the road, and let's say you didn't have the Bluetooth keyboard with you, it is still possible to type in uh, web addresses. So I'm just going to turn on the keyboard here. This is a Windows keyboard. And I can still very easily type in uh, URLs with this. Now, in addition to the Windows keyboard, you do also have this handy drawing function. And what's nice about this is on the website, it fills in the www for you. And you can easily scratch out the .com if it's a different uh, extension, but I want that. So I'm going to type in seuss.com and go to that. And it works just fine. Here's something you can do with the eSlate that you can't do with any other tablet. And that's editing photos. So I'll just show you quickly. I've got a photo here of the Sabretooth P67. It's a 1280 by 800 resolution. It's actually the same resolution as the screen on the tablet. And I've got um, Photoshop CS3 here. I'll just open that up. And let me drag on my picture. And I'll just grab the pen and show you how you can easily resize the image. So even without a keyboard, it's very simple to just scratch out the number you don't want. Write in the new resolution, press OK, and it's resized just like that. So very snappy, absolutely no lag at all in this. I can try maybe a filter, let's try water paper. You can see it did that with no problems. So photoshopping is not an issue on the eSlate, it's actually a breeze. Now the great thing about the eSlate is that not only does it function like a touchscreen tablet, let's say when you're in a presentation or at class, but you can come back to your office and use it just like a laptop. So I've got it folded up here in its other carrying case. I've also got a wireless Bluetooth mouse and a wireless Bluetooth keyboard, and I can type on it just like I would on a laptop. So you can use this just like you would your laptop, but you can be fully productive with it. So there you have it, the ASUS eSlate EP121. So it's available for order now. Starting 999 for the 32 gigabyte version and 1099 for the 64 gigabyte version. It's powered by the Intel Core i5 processor with Windows 7 Home Premium. And until then, don't forget to subscribe to us on youtube.com slash ASUSROG. Thanks.